Okay, welcome back to another episode of Dyson Sphere Program Gameplay. It's uh, been a few days. Took a quick Valheim update, or Valheim break, rather. Interesting game, interesting game, still getting into it. Uh, I have done a little bit of reading on how to actually play the game, which uh, may improve both my experience in the game and also your viewing experience. So we'll get back to that relatively soon, but I wanted to hop back into Dyson Sphere Program and catch up on where we've been because uh, we have taken a little break. So it looks like we are in the process of building our, uh, that's weird. Why is that not picking up from this path? All right, let's fix that. Well, we just we just went right into it, didn't we? Uh, there we go. Okay, it looks like these just didn't copy in correctly. Let's fix that. Oh, I think we had just noticed that when we picked off last time. Okay, cool. So, we are exporting our strange matter. We are picking it up right here. Oh, nice. We have a nice little group of it already. All right. So, let's uh, take a step back and figure out what we're actually trying to do. Our deuterium lines are not running, but that is okay because we are maxed out on our deuteron fuel rods. Um, so, that's actually uh, not a bad thing. We are, our overarching goal is to make these gravity matrix uh, in an automated fashion, right? So we have to make our graviton lenses and our quantum chips. We are working on the graviton lenses portion, which requires strange matter and diamonds to make these lenses. These lenses can actually convert directly into space warpers, but we would rather turn them into gravity matrix first. One, because that's going to drive our next set of upgrades, but two, because the gravity, or sorry, the gravity matrix conversion into space warpers is an 8x versus a 1x from the actual lenses themselves. Uh, so that requires us to make these quantum chips. Quantum chips require processors, of which we have quite a few. Uh, we've automated those. But they also need plane filters, which are a combination of titanium glass and casimir crystals. These will be trickier. Um, we are already using the titanium crystals for our yellow cube input, or yellow matrix. So I think what we want to do for this is set up a more sustainable way to find these optical grading crystals. And I believe what we want to do is search the heavens for a star system that contains optical grading crystals within it so we can import them into our system. So if I just kind of hop around here a little bit, we will be able to find very easily a star system that has optical grading crystals in it. And I believe that we actually saw one, Gamma Orionis, yes. So we're gonna head to Gamma Orionis in just a bit. Oh, oh my, what is, what is this? How did I turn this on? Was it with V? Is that what does this? Okay. No, it must not be V, because I can do that again. Interesting. Well, we'll learn more. Does this show me what tooltip it is? Uh, hmm. Well, so this is interesting. This is a new mod um, that I have installed. Um, we will look into this a little bit more later. We're going to auto-refresh this, I think, um, because I'm curious to see what's going on. But uh, we'll, we'll leave this alone. How about, how about we do that? We'll get into that another day. Okay, so what we are doing is we want to set up our Casimir Crystal production. What else do we have in here? Okay, and then what do we have in here? Oh, actually, you know what? Let's finish this up first. Let's not, um, let's not leave this hanging, right? So what we are currently doing is we're running our strange matter this way. We may want to increase our strange matter production, and we would potentially run four down this side. We want to leave some space here. And how do we actually build out these graviton lenses? It's an assembler. Okay. So I think what we do is we actually run them around and then we run them in here. So I think what we're going to want to do is let's run. Uh, okay. Let's, let's think about this for a second. So we're going to run in here with, uh, with graviton lenses. So this is going to be our graviton lens input which means oh, <laughs> um, we want to put our assemblers along here. Is that too close? I don't love that it's blocked. You know what? No. Let's, just in case, but we don't really need to, right? I don't know what else we would pull out. But all right, so let's leave ourselves a little bit of wiggle room just in case. We'll build along this like strong, I don't know if this is the prime meridian or the equator or what this is, but we'll build along this line. Uh, and we know that we're going to want to throw in these bad boys so let's throw in a few of these guys uh, actually we only want to throw in one because we'll pattern everything else 
And so then what we will do is actually bring this just for now. I think we have some time. Bring this around on this side. And the reason we want to do that is because we actually want to pull out from here and bring diamonds around on this side. So let's do this. And then we will copy our storage cube here. It comes copied with its little grabber. So let's put it right at the end instead. Uh, for some reason, it did not copy with its grabber. So let's just throw one on there. Boom. Um, and then we'll take all these, get rid of that, put them all in there. Okay. So then these will start lining up, which is what I was hoping to see. All right. Let's throw a little bit of power at the end here. Boom. Okay. So let's get grabby with it. Grab those three. And we'll kick it out right on the end. And we are building graviton lenses. Cool. That looks like that is running smoothly as our proof of concept. I want to see it spit the first one out. 10 per minute. So one every six seconds. Interesting. All right. That looked like that worked okay. And is this... Okay. Cool. That is getting built properly. And we can just build all the way down. And I'm assuming we're going to need to really amp up our strange matter production to support this. I just wanted to put the infrastructure in place so that we have it. Um, and then actually here, what I'll do is I'll take all of those and I'll go down here and then I'll just feed them in. I wonder what the ratio is here. I actually don't know. But I guess we'll find out. For those who are interested, drink of the day is Smithwick's Red Ale. Uh, I know we are approaching St. Patrick's Day here in the U.S., uh, and in the Northeast, we have a tradition called Green Beer Sunday that takes place. I think it's the last Sunday of February. Um, so while this beer is not, in fact, green, I, we start getting into the uh, celebratory Irish spirit uh, a little bit early here in the Northeast. So uh, I'm looking forward to, to that. Wow, interesting. They all went back. So these must be fully stocked up for the most part, I guess. I don't know. Temperament. I don't know exactly what the conversion ratio is. I'm going to, again, take these back, and we're just going to fill these up as much as we can. Oh, yeah, they don't hold very many. That's the problem. Boom. Actually, they hold a ton. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about, apparently. There we go. All right. Oh, got one more. There we go. And honestly, this doesn't even really matter that much because all we're da basically doing is ensuring that more will go down into that storage but that's okay not the end of the world okay cool we got them back in there all right and we can pretty significantly lower these down too i'm going to kick both of these down too a th honestly let's go down to 800 i don't think we're going to use more than that we got plenty of time okay we are doing okay we'll put our boom put our particle containers back in there okay awesome so i think we have something that's now sustainably producing graviton lenses might be uh, not the fastest production line, right? But we're getting there. And that's what counts. Okay, so now we want to focus on our Casimir crystals, right? Um, so what we're going to need to do is bring with us a... Note, we want an interstellar logistics station. So we are going to need to grab aluminum... Or sorry, yeah, titanium bars and some particle containers. Both of which I believe we can grab from in here. It is so nice that we could actually now make the... Um, interstellar logistics stations at scale like I, I can't even describe to you how nice it feels to know that we could do that if we wanted to um, but for now we're just gonna make the one uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty simple setup to be honest with you uh, we're more so more so going on an exploratory trip uh, and I can't put it back all right um, let's see what of this we can ditch here before we leave uh, we'll just put it in our random junk drawer all right, anything down here that we should be mindful of that is not operating properly. Everything looks pretty solid. We got plenty of hydrogen. And we don't even need, like, I don't want to, you know, get rid of too much, but we don't need any of those tanks. How is our oil production going? We are definitely not using nearly as much oil as we used to be. Do we have, all right, none of this is being stored here. So that's a good thing. We were trying to empty those out. 
Um, and then I'm actually going to remove that and then set this line up to run through here, just for now. Actually, you know what we should do? Just run this up here. And then it'll run into there. I think that is a smarter system. Pull that out. And then we'll connect this up. Really? There we go. Okay. So everything is going to be moving again quite shortly. Oh, and let's upgrade this line. Makes no sense to do that. There we go. The, oh, aha. That will get you. If you're not careful, that's a helpful tip. I don't know if you saw what I did right there, but we had one or two links in this chain that were MK2 and the rest was MK3. Make extra sure that you don't accidentally miss that. It can happen pretty easily if you're not paying attention uh, and it'll really slow down your lines if you're not, if you're not careful. Um, this we're gonna upgrade to. I don't know where it's going, but I want it to go faster than it currently is. So now we are. Okay, where is our... I have no idea where we are producing carbon nanotubes. I gotta be honest with you. I do not remember at all. Uh, uh, over here maybe? Yeah, okay. Interesting, these are all clogged up. Is it because product stacking? Okay, cool, good problem to have. Uh, I feel less guilty about deleting all these. Uh, I mean, I still felt a little bit guilty, I'm not gonna lie, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Okay, um, we need to take the space warpers with us. Whoops, um, can I put this in there? No, it freaking won't let me. All right, we're just gonna honestly trash a bunch of this stuff. I feel badly about doing this, but like just legitimately there aren't too many better options. Why are these not getting through? That is going to be a problem. And there's no demand either. Okay, let's go see what's going on there. Uh, I'm gonna pull this silicon out of my inventory, trash that. Try, uh, actually, we'll hold on to this. Maybe we can use it somewhere. Um, so we are going to go to our new system. We have our interstellar logistics system. We have our space warpers. We have logistics vessels. Actually, we don't even need space warpers here because I think what we can do if we're smart about this is we have we should have one interstellar station here that has space warpers in it. Just the one. Uh, and I don't know which one it is because that would make this too easy. These are all the locals how are we getting our uh, unipolar magnets in? That's what I'm curious about. That one is our, okay, it's probably, no. Where are we making these particle containers? Uh, maybe one of the poles. That, nope, not that one. Not that one. All right, let us just keep looking. I know we grabbed some space around here somewhere. This is where the um, can start to get a little nuts. Ah, okay, here we go. So this is where we set up, set up the one with the space warpers. Uh, ah, doesn't have any more. That's problematic. There we go. We, yeah, that is that is tough. We're gonna need a lot more space warpers pretty soon. So maybe what we want to do. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. Okay. Um. And we don't have any more warpers in storage, do we? Uh, we're gonna have to think this through a little bit more than we have, but that's okay. It just means that we're gonna be smart about how we do this. No space warpers in there, no space warpers in there. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let us think this through a little bit more than we have. What do we wanna drop off? Drop off the orbital, co ah, actually, let's hold on to that. We might need it. Get rid of particle colliders, fractionators. We don't need those. Let's bring the fusion power station with us. Um, but let's also bring maybe some wind and some solar just in case. I think those might be preferable power sources because they're a little more sustainable. Well, let me take that back. Wind is sustainable. But actually, you know what? I mean, we don't need that much solar like we don't need these things to be running a hundred times or a uh, hundred percent of the time so let's grab those 
then we'll make like I don't know 50 something wind turbines here let's just get some of that how many of these come ah oh, we need the freaking these guys all right I know this is like an excessive amount but we're just gonna make a ton of wind turbines boom okay that is gonna take us a little bit of time what that is gonna do is give us time to go check out Al Chiba uh, one and see what the heck is going on over there and why our processors are not uh, flowing like like spice right just like the spice must flow the processors must flow we're gonna grab some of our oh nope 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 okay that is a much more reasonable amount I wanted to make sure we didn't grab way too many there cool we have 12 I could actually handle to grab like yeah that that seems a little bit more okay to me and then just put as many back as you can oh I guess this is gonna be how many we have okay that's really not bad that's a pretty solid amount okay so the last thing we're gonna do is drop off some of our extra chests in case we do find ourselves in a position where we think it would be most productive to literally bring back the um, what's the casimir crystal these crush optical grading crystals if we want to literally just bring those back by hand we want to have as much space in our inventory as we possibly can so I'm gonna ditch a bunch of this stuff that I don't think that we need we'll hold on to that ditch that um, ditch that ditch those ditch those okay um, yeah I think everything else we can keep I don't think that's the end of the world um, yeah okay we'll drop this extra graphite off at um, El Chiba one all right where are you at El Chiba one Here we go. Oh, it's so nice to be able to go like pretty freaking fast and not have to worry about it. This is not uh, not interstellar travel, or uh, I'd be afraid that I, I guess it is interstellar, right? I mean, they're called interstellar planetary lo or interstellar logistic stations, right? But like realistically, it doesn't have to be interstellar if you're not going between stars, right? We're just going interplanetary if we want to get really technical about it. I've been trying to be precise in my language, so I've been saying every time we go to another like solar system that we're doing inter-system travel. But if we're being honest, it's really more so interstellar the same way because you're moving to a different star. So, I don't know. If someone knows more about this than I do, feel free to correct me and I will use the appropriate phrasing uh, moving forward. But honestly, I haven't run into a huge issue in terms of uh, people understanding me, to the best of my knowledge. If you don't understand what I'm saying, then please let me know, and I'll try to clarify. But I think we're doing okay so far. This is something I am interested in, though. These are slowing down. And that means that these are going slower than we want. I think we want way more of these because we are running out of our processors. And we're going to be using that for more things. So let's figure out what the heck is going on here. All right, so the problem is we need more production of our high purity silicon, right? Okay, let's set up a secondary supply chain here that's gonna feed over here. So I'm gonna pull these out just real, oh, I thought something would happen when I did that. <laughs> nope, we're good, okay, cool. Well, this is why it's a good thing we brought these smelters along, right? So I think we're gonna start maybe Actually, here, let's start over here because then it'll be easier to do our math. Um, bring this along, and we will literally just hook this up here. If this becomes problematic, too, if, if we start jamming these lines, we can just upgrade the, the line speed, and that won't be an issue, uh, which is the nice thing about starting with kind of an MK2 speed. Uh, we can know where we need to increase pretty easily. Re are, really? Really? Okay, well, the, I think the moral of the story is we're going to have to run power along here anyways so let's if we run it along here yeah that won't be won't be an issue cool so we're just gonna put power back and let's make sure we get a little bit more of overlap there okay cool so I think we're good there let's run this line down and then we'll just copy these guys and keep going along there we go and maybe do one more All right, so let's see if this helps with the jamming problem. Um, it is gonna definitely help increase our 
high purity silicon output and we can actually include more i mean heck we could even split off of this and do another row if we need to actually let's just preemptively do that right now um we're gonna get a splitter whoops i always think the splitters are in like a different area it's kind of annoying uh it's it's just 100 percent my bad i don't know why i keep thinking that okay can only be that close so let's do green into there or oh, it's nope sorry we want we want uh, mk3s well let's let's upgrade that there we go okay and here we are going to prioritize this output but then also run a second line up here okay that is interesting very interesting okay so we're not running into this issue anymore this however is an issue to me let us upgrade that at least all that Let's see if we still run into this issue there we go perfect just run everything through see how it goes all right so if we start running into issues over here then we'll know but it looks like we've hopefully kicked that up a notch and we're not going to run into as many issues all right so now let's see over here Where is this going? So we have it pulling these out to fill this. Okay, I see. So this line, only half of that is getting over here. This seems like an inefficient way to be doing this, but I don't really want to go through and fix it right now. So I think I'm like okay with how it's working. And we'll see if this fixes the immediate issue. Because what I'd really like to see is these guys totally stocked up and you can't yeah so it's not happening because if these guys are totally producing everything then we'll get to okay all right well this is interesting though we are starting to bunch up here that is exactly what i want to see happening because it means we can put these guys is this going to work out perfectly i'm asking too much right uh we were yeah okay so if we sample this let's just see we put one right there on that side. Okay, so let's do this. We are going to run a parallel line here uh, and then run it down into that. And then I don't know why the heck we did. Th oh, you know what it was? I bet it was so we knew we could run over these lines if we wanted to build over them. But what we want to do is actually come down a little bit faster here. Oops. Um, actually, here, let's go. Let's stay up there. There we go. Okay. So that looks better to me. And then we are just going to chain delete that. Perfect. Okay. So now what we can do is, ooh, we only have two of these. Um, can we make more? All right. We're not, we're not automating, automating the little grabby hands, are we? I don't think so. Um, okay. So let's get, I'll just take 50 of these. Uh, how do I make these uh, plates and chips? Okay. Plates and chips. Nope. Plates and chips, anyone? Nope. Okay. Killing me. Killing me. Um, I see. All of our microchips just directly feed in. And you're what? What are you complaining about? Oh, you're product stacking. Oh, look at me. I'm product stacking. Whatever. Who knows? Okay, and then we need some of these guys. Oh, this is always such a pain to actually try to collect things this way. It's so inefficient, and I know it, but it doesn't stop me from doing it. Um, and let's, yep, we're going to make like 50 of those. And that should bump up how many of these we can make. All right, so what are we doing? Ah, yes, over here. That should be spinning them out. Nice. Okay, so see, we're now we're starting to pile up here, so that's a good sign. All right, and then we'll queue up. Um, yeah, like 50 of these. Oh, it's a two to one. That's what's throwing me off. Makes sense. Okay. Good news is, though, we're making more of these pretty well. Boom. 
and these will, I think, nest in just fine right there. Okay, awesome. No pa are you joking me? How did that even happen? There we go. Okay. Awesome. So that should help. That should help a little bit. It's not a huge help, but um, we're getting there. Getting there. Okay. So I think we're in a good enough place. And, and this, I'm gonna stop. I'm not. I'm not gonna bother doing this anymore. Let's just get rid of that. Let's shoot this up. Okay. So what we do want to do is make sure here that we go. Up and down. There we go. So now we can run both of these lines through if we have the need to do that. Let me just double check. That runs through just fine. That runs through just fine. Okay, cool. So we're good. It's kind of our natural breakpoint here. And I'm also just going to cut the ends off there a little bit because it bothers me. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and these are all freaking out because they don't have enough. Okay, well, we'll get there. This is where we'll see. We don't have to prioritize or anything. And these are still, I mean, they're still being consumed. How's our ore production over here? All right, things are definitely flowing a lot faster now. Interesting. We're starting to deplete. Yeah, okay. So we're increasing the pace. Do we have more silicon on this planet? No, that is the only silicon van on this planet. That might be a problem long term, but it explains why we made this monstrosity. So, you know, this is a really interesting point about playing this game. Uh, when you play with unlimited resources, it's not like an immediate game changer in terms of the difficulty because then the problem still becomes producing a high enough quantity of those resources in a pipeline like in this case, right? We have nine million nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand three hundred fifty nine or no nine billion. I can't do math correctly. Nine billion nine hundred ninety nine million three hundred fifty nine thousand seven hundred and change uh, units of silicon. And the problem is not the quantity; it's the output uh, per second. So you can see this max miner output is twenty one units per second. I don't know if there's a way I could feasibly increase that given the arrangement of all these miners. And this is the only one on the planet. So unless I want to have to import high purity silicon here, this is basically going to have a soft cap on my maximum output in this entire planet. So something to think about. Um, if you do uh, the unlimited resources, I, I personally think unlimited resources is a great way to play. It just makes the game more fun for me. Um, but if you are considering it, that is something to consider is it's not uh, basically just straight up easy mode, right? Okay, all that being said, are we ready to take a trip? I'm excited. We want to go to our friendly neighborhood, Gamma Orionis. Let us hop into the sky and see if we can find it. Boom, right there. All right, we are going to speed up. And we are going to head to Gamma Orionis. Oh, uh, caps lock, not tab. All right, we're starting our warp engines. This just never gets old to me. This is so awesome that we can do this. We're just going to speed up. All right, sail speed, pretty fast, I would say. And we really have, again, we've talked about this a little bit. There's a soft range cap, just given our, our total energy capacity. Uh, I'd save about four to five light years. So we are coming up on it. Still kind of heading for the star here. All right, we are real close to everything, so I'm going to shut this down. Ooh, that is a bright star. Bright star. B-type star. Cool. So, now, which one of these planets has what we want on it? There are a lot of them. Hold up. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's let's actually look in this system. Let's... Oh, my gosh. There are... Okay. Oh, just the two. I don't know why I was, like, struggling with that. All right. Well... Uh, Gamma Orionis, this one, doesn't have anything particularly interesting on it. What about this one? Mm, no, hold up. Where are those crystals that we're looking for? Huh. I, 
I'm looking in the right place, right? Am I going crazy here? If I zoom out. Maybe I'm missing something in terms of, for upgrades, we have Universe Exploration 3, Planetary Systems Within 6 Light Years. We are looking at an example of a planet and a system right here. Plenty of interesting ore, but uh, not what we are looking for specifically. Did we not see those crystals right on, on the little report screen right there? Am I, am I wrong here? We click on Gamma Orionis, it's, oh, you know what? Do you have to harvest them direct? You That can't be it, right? Well, this is what I don't understand, too, is it shows a Gamma Orionis 3 and 4 that I'm not even seeing on this map right now. So maybe that's where they are. Hold up. Yeah, there we go. It's got to be this one. Yeah, okay. So we want to head for Gamma Orionis 4, I think. Let's go that way. Gamma Orion is four. Cool. We are headed in the right direction. We're just going to go a little bit faster here. All right. Let's go see what Gamma Orion is four has to offer here. And Gamma Orion is three, too, is right next to it. I wonder what's going on there. I think it's just like the weird angle here because it, it seems to be like pretty far away. I think that's what's throwing it off, especially considering that I'm seeing like these other stars, too. We like click over here so that we have Gamma Orion is four, uh, which does have two unknown rare signals. And then Gamma Orion is three is the ice giant that it's circling. I see. Where the heck are we? There we go. Okay, I was like, what is going on here? All right, so at least we're headed in the right direction here. This is, I mean, this would be, this would be a tricky starting system to have these stars so far, or these planets so far apart. Um, I mean, it'd be nice because you're moving into a system that does have a rare, a rare resource, but I mean, realistically, that is very far away. Um, so I think that could be challenging. Do we have enough? We could just warp over there. Is that a bad use of warpers? We don't have a ton of warpers left. Maybe we shouldn't do that. But we are creating enough graviton lenses that we could probably just create some extra warpers if we wanted to. Yeah, mm, I think we're I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Give us a second to pause and reflect, right? How are y'all doing? How has your day been? It's Friday where I am. Hopefully you've had a nice week and you're ready for an even nicer weekend. Uh, what are we, are we ready? go i think we're going to be okay and actually i think we may have lucked out because i'm pretty sure yep it's a goby planet uh wind energy i thought wind energy was boosted on goby planets it looks like that is not the case um but that's not the end of the world this planet might have everything it's new york's hottest club feels like it's got a ton of stuff in it I'm excited to see how this goes we're getting pretty close now Ooh, and that's just like a gorgeous gas giant uh, to be orbiting that color really, really pops. That's awesome. This would be a very interesting starting planet. I'll give you that much. All right, we're going to come in for a soft feather light landing here at around 2,000 meters per second. Ooh, nice. This is like such a small little planet. <laughs> the curvature on this is ridiculous. All right, let's just hop and bop around to the crocodile rock. See if we can find ourselves. Whatever. Oh, Kimberlite is the other thing on this planet. Interesting. How many reserves are there? Uh, what, I, I'm literally standing on it. Does that not count as me like seeing that it's here? There you go. I have now mined a piece of it. Does that not? Requires universe exploration level one. I mean, I don't want to be that guy, but we have universe exploration level one. Uh, I wonder if a mod I installed has maybe messed with this a little bit because that does seem wrong to me. Optical grading crystals are right up there too. 
Um, okay, so you know what we'll do? is we will um, throw down some miners on those optical grading crystals. And I'm just going to double check. I don't think. Yeah, that is the only the only mine of the optical grading crystals. So we'll go we'll go set up some miners on that. I actually have miners, right? Oh, no. All right. OK, what do we need to make these iron and copper? OK, well, this is going to be one of those kind of days. Let's go mine some copper, kids. Not endorsing child labor there, just to be clear. All right. Well, how many of these do we need to actually make one of these guys? Because this does not look good. I think it's a one-to-one -one for the plates, so I'm actually going to stop doing that and go over to the iron instead. Because I think we're going to need a lot more of that. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break while we grab some of this iron and I'll be right back.
Okay, we are back. Apologies for the delay. Had to go um, place a food order. We're going to do takeout tonight. Um, but it turns out that the takeout place is going to be so fast that uh, I now only have a few minutes left for us to ensure that we can successfully mine our optical grading crystals. Where are these guys? We just saw them, didn't we? Okay, they're literally on the exact... Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they're right in front of us. I was like, are they on the exact opposite side of the planet from where we are right now? The answer is no. They're right over here. Okay. And we're going to have uh, 10 of them, huh? Yeesh. What if we... Here. Where did that copper vein go? Because I think we need a little bit more copper, right? I should know better, honestly, at this point. Like, we should know that we're going to have to bring some of the stuff with us. We're just being silly at this point. All right, that's enough. So now I think we go to a pole. So let's go left, set up our interplanetary station. And the nice part about this is again, we don't have to put any power in the station. I think that's something that people tend to forget that you do not have to power these uh, if you are not moving anything to or from them, or sorry, uh, to them, right? We can just set this up to load in our natural resources here. Uh, and we'll, we'll throw Kimberlite ore in. I don't know. What what do you even make with Kimberlite ore? Uh, I could not tell you. Is it this thing? Is that what that is? Oh, I guess you can make diamonds more easily. So that's cool. Uh, fractal silicon would have actually been, I think, nicer to find, but whatever. Okay, so at least we have it. Um, so let's go back down. I think it was this way, right, that our... Um, Optical grading crystals were located. Perfect. Okay. Let's plunk down a few of these. Ooh, this is gonna be this is gonna be tight. Let me see. Maybe what I can do is just back them out a little bit. Because it's okay if they're only touching one of these, right? I don't think that's the end of the world. It might um I don't know if it's like technically smarter. To do this this way or not these foundation support are you kidding me um, I don't know if it's smarter to do this this way or to have just like a few of them on on all the crystals but I think this would work a little bit better than potentially what we've done in the past and then can we fit we might be able to squeeze two more in here. No. I, th I think we're just going to have to to go ham on this last one. Okay. I mean, that's still pretty solid. Okay. And then we can go up this way. I'm just going to set up right now the line that we know that we want to have. We want to go up here, right? Uh-oh. Uh I think we went the wrong direction. We want to go this way. No, am I? Ah, uh, poles on the side. Okay. So let's go this way then. This way we do want to go. We'll just run this all the way down. And I'll come back to actually build this in a second. Um, there we go. So I'm assuming my guys are going to come towards me here. A little drones. Oh my god, that's that's actually crazy. You can see it wrap all the way around the planet like that. There they come. Hey guys. Okay, so now we'll just walk back. And we will build this as we go. Doing a great job. It's kind of funny to watch them flip up and down. The shadows. <laughs> That's great. Okay, perfect. So we made it here. Uh, That's all running the right way, right? Okay. 
Thank goodness. That would have been a pain. Try to go back and fix. All right, and then let us just delete all this. Don't need any of this. There we go. Okay. So now, starting from here, let's maybe start it like right here. Bring that down to here. Out of building range. Are you kidding me? You'll get to building range. Really? You're literally right next to me. I don't know what that even means. There we go. All right, come on guys, right over here. There you go, good job. Awesome, okay. So, it sounds pretty windy out there. So we're just going to start up our little wind farm right here. Because Lord knows we got plenty of space. I'm honest, like, I'm not even bothering to make these not pretty janky. That's, that's how little I care right now. There we go. All right. So I think we're going to do the same thing that we normally do, which is pull each of these out into how many is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So let's use four quadrants and we're going to pair them roughly together in what twos are. Yeah. Well, here, let's do, let's do three groups of three, honestly. So this will go out here. Boom. Boom. Oops. Uh, boom. There. Get rid of all this. Come down. Bring it out. Do the same thing here. Feed all these into this one. Or at least those three. And we'll feed these three into this one. Okay. I'll go on here. This will go down here. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna kick out like that. This one goes right in there. This one goes down there. It's the exact same deal over here. Uh, oh, whoops. No, no, no. This has to go over. There we go. Let's use. Actually, here we'll just use the windmills as the pat. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Trying to use them to spread the power here. Okay, so then now I'll have some power on the local planet. Power production. Perfect. All right, we'll throw down a few more just for good measure. This can't hurt. There we go. Awesome. So, now, we should be collecting our optical grading crystals. Perfect. All right, the spice is flowing. Let's head over here. Oops, come on. Ooh, kind of like a purple shine on this. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Gotta love that. Here, snap a quick pick. Nice. Okay. We have our optical grading crystals. Cool. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break here. We now have our optical grading crystals that are heading into our uh, interstellar logistics station here. We don't have to power this because we are gonna send chips to go retrieve this uh, from our home planet, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, and maybe we will stay here and actually set up a few Kimberlite or um, mining situations too, just so that we have that as an option to us before we head home. All right, thanks for joining me and I'll catch you on the next episode. Have a good weekend, everyone.